I'm with our former captain of Chivas USA, Jimmy Conrad. It's a big and sad day for you, Jimmy. I'm going to try not to make you cry. <laughs> What's going on? Uh, announcing my retirement today. Um, you know, it's bittersweet. Obviously, I've had a long career and I want to continue to play, but due to medical reasons, uh, be specific, concussions, I think it's in my best interest to retire now and, and try to help the sport in other ways. And tell me, what's next for you? Well, I'm going to stay on um, with Chivas till the end of the year and hopefully the foreseeable future. Um, I am going to be the general manager of the Youth Academy and I'm going to get to brainwash America's youth. So I take a lot of pride in that. Excellent. I certainly look forward to seeing what you can <laughs> do with the guys out here. Now, you've been a member of the national team. How long have you been in the sport, first of all? Uh, well, as a professional, it's my 13th year and I've been playing since I was five years old. And uh, so it's a big blow to my ego. There's a lot of your self-worth tied up in, in your performance and, and being a soccer player. And, and that's over now, and so I'm just looking forward to what's next. Any highlights from your career, perhaps on the national team? Yeah, of course. Scoring against Mexico in 07. Uh, I've captained the team five times, played in the 2006 World Cup. Um, a, lot of, a lot of different things along the way, and just a lot of good memories that probably are more off the field than on. And a lot of friends and a lot of laughs, too. And this team, Chivas, you've only been here a short time, but how do you think the team's coming on and gelling together? You know, th there's been some ebbs and flows. You know, we've had to deal with, with injuries or, or uh, just performances where sometimes the old guys don't play well and the young guys do, or the young guys don't play well and the old guys do. And so we're just trying to find that balance. And uh, I think that the coaching staff's the right people. I think they're doing everything to, to make it happen. And it just takes time to, to, get, to get to the point that we want to get to. And I think we're going to get there sooner rather than later. And hopefully we'll have success this year. But if it doesn't happen this year, then it's going to happen very, very soon. And of course, you're actually from California yourself. So how does it feel to be able to end your career in California? Oh, it feels great. You know, I wish I would have got a chance to play in front of my friends and family. Uh, just because they've been supporting me from afar for so many years, but it's great to have this their support to be close to them and, and to be able to sound off on them when I'm having a tough time with what's been happening. So uh, it's how, for, whatever, for whatever reason it's worked out the way it should, and, and I'm excited to be here. And any final message to your fans over the years, your supporters? Yeah. Uh, they've definitely made me probably a little bit more important than I deserve to be. Um, I really appreciate all the fan support throughout the years, even with Chivas, the limited time I've had. They've been very gracious. Gracious. Um, with their support and, and have had my back even though I haven't done as much on the field as, as I'm sure they would like me to. Um, so again, just thanks for all your support and, and uh, hopefully I can give you something to cheer about in the future. Well, it's the start of a new era but lots of good times to come. Thank yeah. you, Jimmy. No problem. Thank you.